here we go here we go welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button tell a friend tell a friend here we have another crazy story famous rapper very very famous successful rapper C murder C murder saw a few murders unfortunately I'm assuming that's why he named himself C murder unfortunately C murder is behind the bars right now. When he went behind the bars, he was a multi-millionaire. Multi-millionaire. Um, I remember watching C Murder. Um, along with his, you know, his his, his brothers. But in reality, they were kind of like on the top of the, you know, of the, you know, in the, on the top in the in the rap game, the rap game, rap music. You know. But C Murder, it's the name. I think it's the name that got to him. It's the name. Because everywhere he goes, he see murder. Think about that. He wakes up in the morning, he see murder. He goes to sleep at night, he see murder. He see murder. He see murder everywhere he goes. Unfortunately, he see murder right now behind the bars. Because they said in 2002, um, C. Murder was arrested um, in connection with a murder of a 16-year-old. 16-year-old. Think about that. His name was Steven. Steve. Little Steve. Young, young man. About 16. He was about 11 years, 12 years out of diapers. C. Murder was a grown man in his 30s, I believe, at the time. Um, well, no, in his 20s. Or could have been in his 30s. Could have been 31. So he decided to take the life from this young man. A millionaire. You know what? He said, you know what? I have the money. I have the power. I could do whatever I want to do. I basically, I could live above the law. A lot of these individuals, I heard someone say before, I make so much money, I could just pay off the judge, pay off the lawyers. And I'm thinking in my mind, this this delusional bastard, he be behind he will be behind the bar soon, and that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. For some strange reason, a lot of these individuals feel untouchable once they start making a whole lot of money. I don't know why. Because well, I do know why, because once they have that money, sometimes they have a lot of yes men who, you know, do anything for them. They have a lot of females who do anything for them, so they feel kind of untouchable in a sense. Some of them really do feel like they could pay for a good attorney and commit murder and get off. Unbelievable. These guys are, most of these guys are really see now. They really see now, you know. So see, murder decides to go out of his way to murder a little baby, 16-year-old boy. You know, this happened in 2002, I believe, you know, he was arrested and he, then he was, you know, then he got out. You know, I wonder why he didn't go on the run. I wonder why he didn't go on the run. Some, it'd be like that sometimes. Some of these guys right here, they know how to pull a trick, but they don't know how to go on the run. I'm just talking. That's it. That's it. I'm sure they would have caught him eventually. But I'm saying, at least he murder would say, you know what? I wanna, he did one of them skinny me's. I went on a run. They have to catch me on a run. They have to catch me on a run. But no, C. Murder was a good boy. Even though he knew how to pull a trigger, he was really a good boy. So he was living in mansions. He probably had a couple of them. He had a famous girlfriend. He was actually living pretty good. He had this young, young, down and out guy. He probably only had about a thousand bucks to his name, if that. And a multi-millionaire, for whatever reason, he decided, you know what? I'm going to take this young man's life, for whatever reason. I'm not sure if the young man was taller than him or bigger than him. But why would a 30-something-year-old man want to do something to a teenager? Someone's young enough to be a son. I can't figure it out. I'm quite certain C. Murder can't figure it out either. I'm quite certain he's thinking about it while he's behind the bars right now. He's 53 years old right now. 10 years, 12 years away from retirement. He's 65 years old. Think about that. Um, 
OC Murder, you know, was living that life. He was rapping about it, but I guess he's really about that life. Just like a lot of his friends, a lot of individuals from Louisiana is like that. But for some reason, whenever they do these crimes, they never want to fess up, confess to it. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was never me. Like that Shaggy song. It wasn't me. Even though you see them on a the camera, they still say it wasn't them. Unbelievable. So see, Murder was sick and tired of living in the free world. So he decided to go and commit a crime. Not a regular crime. He decided to murder a little baby, a teenager. Now he's behind the bars and he wants to get out. He's crying. <laughs> I'm innocent. I'm innocent. No, you're not. If you were innocent, only thing you'd be saying, I think you'd be saying, you know what? I'm suing. I'm suing. I'm suing. I'm suing. I'm suing. I never heard C. Murder say I'm suing the justice system for injustice. No. Because a lot of these individuals, they want to commit the crimes, but they don't want to do the time. Think about that. I believe C. Murder would be more respected if he say, you know what, like, like what um, T.I. son said, um, he's probably the only last gangster left. You know, I stand on business. I have to stand on business. See, Murray ain't saying I have to stand on business. He's crying. <laughs> I want to get out after murdering the baby. At least I could understand if he did it to an adult. He probably said, you know what, I didn't do it. But he did it to a baby, someone under a 16-year-old. At least he should be man enough to, to say, you know what? I messed up. You know, that was just a little baby. He was just out of diapers. You know, let me just stay where I am right now because I know what I did. But no, he still wants to get out. Think about that. See, murder never changed his name. I think his name is still C. Murder. How many murders he's seeing? I don't know, but C. Murder want to commit a crime, but he doesn't want to do his time, just like a lot of individuals. Think about that. But it's a little different for C. Murder though, because C. Murder was a multi-millionaire. I'm quite certain if he felt threatened by that little. 16 year old he could have moved away from him yeah could have moved to another country you know another continent but no see murder say you know what I'm gonna let this little baby know that this little boy know that you know I really see murder and that's what happened now Steven's gone See, murder's behind the bars. He's crying. He wanted to get out. They said some witness came forward, you know, many years later, and said that, you know what? See, murder didn't do it. But who did it then? Who did it? I'm just talking. That's it. That's it. But see, murder, just like. You know, all these other individuals, they want to commit crimes and they want to start crying after us. <laughs> let me out, let me out. They don't want to do their times. Instead of seeing murder, writing a book, tell the youngsters, you know what? Don't do what I did. I was living real good. I was richer than 99% of individuals in my country. He was richer than 90% of individuals in this country. And then he decided to go commit a crime. Not a regular crime. He decided to separate, you know, those parents, they even had the luxury of filing for that child on their taxes for the last, you know, those final two years. Unbelievable. See, Murder's not thinking about that. He's not thinking about that. You know, but... That's how it goes sometimes when you see murder. F-Service TV. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Here we go, here we go.